Today I see a bit of sadness in you with your head bowed. I know you need strength to continue your journey with joy and enthusiasm. Come to me confidently. There is no need to go through your days without motivation or hope. Remember, I am your father, not far away in some distant place where my love is inaccessible. I am right here beside you, as I always have been even if you sometimes forget. Give me your hand now. Stand up. Let's walk together through the paths of your thoughts. Tell me, what are you afraid of? Why do you feel like giving up? Why do you want to abandon your destiny? It's true, the world can be harsh. As a child, you looked at life with curiosity, expecting the best. Your pure smile was freely offered in friendship to anyone who claimed to be a friend. But then lies and betrayals tend your hope, silenced your laughter, and left you questioning your desire to live. Your heart grew heavy, and you stopped trusting and believing in me. But now, Trust me in this. I understand you and know you as intimately as I know the heavens. Just as I call each star by name, I know every burden you carried, every wound, and even your smallest pain. I understand it all. We speak the same language, and I know exactly what will bring you comfort. I surrender my plans, both grand and small, to your will. You have promised in Psalm 37 to 5, Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will do this. Shower me with your wisdom as I navigate financial matters. Order my steps, Lord, and lead me to the provisions you have already laid out for me. I believe with unwavering faith in your magnificent plan for my life a plan that promises not just survival, but prosperity and hope. Bless me not just for myself, but so I can be a blessing to others. May your favor elevate me beyond any human limitation and grant me the courage to conquer the fear of poverty that can so easily hope and motivation. Deliver me from the despair of financial hardship. When I feel hopeless or cornered, remind me of your promise in Proverbs 10-22. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich without painful toll for it. Fill all my needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Supply for my basic necessities, yes but also grant me the resources to be generous and share your blessings with those in need. In his name I declare that I am already financially blessed. My faith, rooted in your love and promises, makes me a conqueror ready to face any challenge with your strength as my shield and your wisdom as my guide. I wait patiently for the unfolding of your miracles, knowing that your timing is perfect. In the meantime, I will continue to walk in righteousness, trusting that you will honor your word and open doors of opportunity that align with your will for my life. With open hands and a trusting heart, I surrender my finances to your loving care. Your word in Proverbs 3, 2, 5 to 6 guides me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I know that every good gift comes from you, and with you by my side, I possess all I truly need. Haggai to Tate reminds me that the silver is mine and the gold is mine declares the Lord Almighty. As your child, I find comfort in knowing you are the source of all abundance. Take my hand, and as we walk, I want to tell you about a place where you are deeply loved, where you wear royal robes, where your name is cherished and admired. There, a loving gaze watches over you every moment, day, and night. In that place, your soul is nourished and strengthened like a hungry bird finding sustenance. There you become who you truly are, a beloved child of the omnipotent Creator, 
made in the image and likeness of the one who formed the universe. Never forget this. If you stumble again, remember that in the most beautiful place in the entire cosmos, you have a special place just for you, and nothing and no one, and take that away. That place is in the deepest part of my heart, where you are protected and where you have every right as my child to come and speak with me every morning. Even if you feel unworthy, do not be deceived by lies. I have washed your life clean with my sacrifice. Once again, I assure you, no one can take you from this place. Even if the entire universe shakes, nothing can approach you. No one can separate you from me. In my heart, you will always remain my little one, my cherished child. You are not defeated. You are still fighting still alive, still standing. You have chosen to believe in the promises I have made to you, and that fills you with divine and supernatural strength. Nothing can overcome you. No one can defeat you. I want you to remember these words well, and continue resisting the unjust attacks that the enemy uses to try to scare you and make you give up on your dreams. But know this. He will not succeed. You belong to me. With my mighty hand I protect you, and with my shining sword I defend you. Your victory is always found in my word. Look at yourself in the mirror of my powerful promises, and know that you have my Holy Spirit within you. Every battle will be won. You are a beloved child, a king, and a priest. Take my hand and live in the joy and strength that only I can give you.